Hey, there we go. Good? Okay, cool. We're good now. All right, cool. Yeah, let me know if uh, I'm like hot miking, like breathing in a mic or something. I think that happened last time. Okay, no, it seems it seems really fine. So. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um. Yeah. Can you send those slippies over or something? What do we? What do you want to go yeah. over today? Uh, I kind of want to go over. I don't know. I I uh I want to go over the Marth matchup. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm genuinely very comfortable in it. Um, but I think there's some. I'm kind of hitting a bit of a wall with that matchup right now. I think. Um. I think like my my skill level with the matchup is a lot higher than like tournament performance, just because it's like it's really hard to stay disciplined like when you're nervous and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um. I just wanted to like. Th there's definitely some situations where like I I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> and then Marth just like bullies me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know. All right. I have a I have a bunch, just because I played um a couple of sessions with a Marth player last mm -hmm. night this morning. Okay. All right. Should I send them all over? Sure. Just all awesome right. in the Discord. Let's go. Okay, I'll just grab the first one. All right. I haven't uh, had a chance to watch it back, so I hope it's not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sure, it's fine. All right. Oh god, it's FOD. It's probably terrible. <laughs> it's what? Oh god, it's FOD. FOD is like by far my worst stage, like okay. in any. <laughs> I usually get annihilated on FOD. <laughs> So you said it's mostly you feel like there's like spots that Mar that you just aren't aware of that Marth is taking advantage of. I think so. There's definitely like uh, there's definitely like certain power shield situations where I just like always lose. Mm, um, and then okay. there's definitely there's definitely situations where like there are certain Marths not uh, not Poodle Skirt but some other Marths will like they'll swing a lot and they'll jump in with nares and stuff like that and i literally will just die like every time okay i have no okay. idea what to do about that that move is insane <laughs> it's pretty good okay yeah. so first thing is i know it's kind of hard to avoid on fountain but you really don't want to go for down airs at zero uh unless they're super yeah. duper late you're not going to get a combo out of it and it's just usually not going to end up super good um uh, let's see Super well, whatever. Okay. Okay. He's. Let's see. He's definitely in a high enough percent here where I would want you to, like, down air him back to the platform. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, if you laser Marth out of the air, uh,. Well, it looks like you lasered without really confirming that he was in the air here. Um, yeah. But normally, if you laser Marth out of the air, your two options are, like, immediately run in there or fair. Like, you're not really close enough to do that. And so at this range, your only option is really to bait out his fair. But if you go in like I, this and yeah. he just fares here, you're going to, like, die. Yeah. I, uh, I probably should have just eaten a fair there. <laughs> yeah, but... It's, it's not going to happen every time, because it's like a mix-up, but uh, it's something that, like, it's better to just laser and, like, punish the fair than punish the not fair. Okay, and if any of those positions you're wondering about come up, let me know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I generally want to see what you have to say you about You definitely want to go to the platforms here, like, rather than, like, this... <laughs> yeah like if you're gonna, I wanted and, to ask and if, you and yeah. The, yeah so this is really important if you're gonna go to edge you have to wave dash to edge and then stall you can't just go to edge and do run off up B because they'll just kill you every time like this is a habit that a lot of Falcos have too like this is something that Magi is really bad about she's always doing this this uh yeah this happens a lot in Marth and the Fox matchup Fox will just shine me and I <laughs> die and it happens like millions of times mm -hmm. <laughs> the best yeah. way i can describe it is just like try to get onto the platforms and like light shield and like try to make them chase you for as long as possible because it's like two seconds so it's like every little amount of chasing like matters 
So, like, not being in the spot where he can just fall and immediately hit you with an aerial, you know? Like, making him, maybe you're over here and you make him, like, you run towards center and then he drops through. And then when he drops through, you go back to the corner. And then he has to land and maybe he'll do a mix-up here and he'll dash in. And then when you go to the side plat, you're, like, you've wasted almost all of his invincibility, like, already. And it's kind of like that against Fox, too. Like, with Fox, I usually wait on the ground, and I try to get him to... If he, if he like, jumps off the top plat, I'll just roll away or run to the other side. And then if he drops through it, I go to side plat, and then I'll full hop. And Fox can, Fox can almost never catch you on, like, platform stages. Yeah, that's... I so, was, like, uh, the yeah. main and thing then that... FD, and then FD happens. Yeah, <laughs> FD, you can't really avoid invincibility <laughs> yeah. very well. It, you're basically just forced to go for a full hop and just mix up. Um, mm -hmm. But, you can, but like, you don't want to go for an immediate full hop. Remember, like, yeah. you're trying to get them to waste as much as possible before the mix-up. So, that's, like, the number one rule is, like, invincibility. Like, focus on, like, all right just try to make it take the longest amount of time for them to even get to me. And then that'll that'll make their invincibility run out. It's only like two seconds. So you just have to like try to waste any time you can. Yeah. Okay. It's weird because it's like on your invincibility, but you get caught in like a bad position. Coming off no, of your yeah, own. This is just this is just me being sloppy. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> it, that's exactly what it looks like. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what I'm even doing here. Or what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. Shielding versus Marth is kind of bad. Um. The only time it's really good, in my opinion, is when you're at, like, really high percent. Because then his moves are, like, more relevant. But if you think yeah. about it, like, the only, like, the only move he has at this distance beside grab that's, like, scary at all is up tilt. And it just doesn't really feel like an up tilty position, like, as the Marth. They're a lot more worried about you dashing back here. Um, yeah. So a lot of times you can literally just, like, CC this and then punish. Or, like... CC into pressure or CC into escape. Uh, when you shield, it's like even if you just stood here and got hit by this down tilt, it's better than getting stuck in shield from it because you end up in this spot where you don't really have a way out, and then you end up getting grabbed. Yeah, because my uh, my drift is like nowhere near good enough to like do anything. He can basically space out, like, anything I do out of shield, pretty much, right? Yeah. Ex <laughs> no, exactly. Like, he, yeah. he he's almost doing it already just by down tilting. Like, just by down tilting, he's already far enough away that you can't shield grab him, you can't shine out of shield, you can't down air out of shield, you know? Yeah. Um... Do you know about the side be shortened against Marth? Basically, you want to side be shortened to ledge here, like, almost every time. Uh, I, I actually started doing it a lot, like, recently. Okay, it nice. Feels, it feels busted. Yeah, it is, yeah. I he, love he, it. <laughs> he literally can't edge guard it from on stage consistently. So, you it ends up giving Falco, like, a really good recovery against Marth. Whereas, if you do stuff like this, he's just gonna, like, stand at the edge and forward smash a lot, and it'll, it'll catch you either in so the startup was, yeah. or, like, while you move. I was gonna say, like, edge guarding is, like, a huge problem with me in this matchup. Like, I feel super inconsistent, because, like, I have to, it always feels like I have to make a hard read, and then Marth, like, most of the time doesn't have to, like, he, he just kind of, mm -hmm. like, kills you wherever you are. <laughs> so that's a nice one, at least having that is nice. Yeah, it's kind of the <laughs> Making opposite. Making him do something. <laughs> it's kind of the opposite, where, like, you can kind of flowchart his recovery, and then he has to hard read yours. Really? Because because you have the side be shortened, so it, that requires a hard read on his end, and a, you can edge it, you can edge guard him with all kinds of stuff. You can Marth Killer, you can grab ledge ledge dash, you can like roll to edge and short hop off. You can double jump backwards. You can delayed get up, and like all a lot of these options that you have are kind of like soft soft reads where like like if you. Like, let's say you do, like, a correct refresh. You go to edge, you do a correct refresh, and then he upbees past you to stage. 
you still get a punish. Whereas, like, there's a lot of stuff against you where, like, let's say he tries to read your side B with a runoff fair, and he messes up and the fair misses you, he might just die. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and that's why I made that tweet the other day, even though it's a little inflammatory that, like, oh, Falco edgeguards Marth harder than Marth edgeguards Falco, you know, and, like, based on, like, common sense, that's kind of wrong. But when you really go deep in the matchup and you have this side B versus Marth's recovery, it starts to make sense on some level. Um, I can't, you know, know the future of how the future will go, but that's currently how recovering and edge guarding kind of, like, plays out. Um, once you get an edge guard, then I will look at what's going on with that. Yeah. You definitely need more lasers. Like, you're just not, like, it doesn't... Oh, it's... It this seems is an like, FOD thing to some extent. I just, okay, I've I had... I, yeah, there, there are a bunch of Falcos that, like, have that problem. <laughs> And I don't really understand why. Like, I get that you can't drop through side plat and laser, but mm-hmm. that's, like, the only thing preventing you from lasering. Like, all the, every other laser is still good. Yeah. And it's, like, laserless Falco loses to Marth, like, 2080. So, like, <laughs> if you're gonna play the matchup without lasers, you should literally not be playing Falco. And, like, Falco, I think Falco does really well on FOD. So, like, obviously, yeah, you can play Falco. But what I mean is, like, you got it. Like, you need to be lasering. It's just yeah. funny to me that, like, it's not just you, you know? <laughs> it's, yeah, like, it's a the... lot of people that I coach yeah. say this, where they're like, well, lasers feel awkward on FOD, so I don't use them. I'm like, well, what's your worst stage in the matchup? Like, well, FOD, because I can't get the... And it's like, no, 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 like... You just have to get better at getting lasers out on Fountain. The correct answer is not to, like, give up on the lasers, you know? And I, But I think that, like, like, don't feel bad about it. That's, like, the natural first response is, like, that you just sort of feel like there's never a good spot to laser, you know? Um, a lot of times I yeah. think people neglect on this stage, like, the, these zones... Like, no matter what height the platforms are at, these spaces here are always free for lasers. And a lot of times you don't want to be in that type of position against Marth, at least for too long. But let's say you're standing on the... This is, like, a really common situation. Like, you're standing on side plat, like, right in the middle, and it's at this height where you can't drop laser, and Marth is about here, so you don't really feel comfortable, like, running off and lasering. And a lot of Falco players here will just feel completely stuck. And they just literally are like, I don't know, and they'll short hop down here to center or something like that. And it's like, you can obviously go to top plat here, you can defend the side plat, but a lot of times just like run off, turn around, laser, dash, full hop, or whatever, is like, like you can, like as like getting a laser out is stronger than being in the corner is bad in a lot of cases. Especially because the stage is so small that like, you can shoot a laser in the corner and then approaching laser out of the corner and you already have like center stage. So I think people, I think you could benefit by like using, the thing is, I'm like, I'm almost on the fence with saying this because I feel like what happens is then people interpret it as like stand in the corner and laser a bunch and I, or it's like it's easy to end up doing that where you sort of run off and laser and then you get trapped in the corner. But like, I think doing that is better than trying to play it without lasers. So it's like, you might need to be a little creative. You might need to, like, full hop here, and then fast fall, turn around laser to hit Marth with a laser, like if he's here. You might have to literally, like, go around him big time to do it. And you actually have to do that on a lot of stages against a lot of characters, like super re-maneuver to get the lasers. Um... So I just think don't like hyper focus on the fact that you can't drop off laser here. Try to just get as many lasers out as possible, and I think it'll kind of normalize the stage for you a bit. Like Yoshi's, mean, yeah. like Yoshi's is so good for Falco because it's small and he can move across it quickly with lasers and reposition with lasers. Like if Falco comes off the top plat and run and uh, does run off turn around laser or run off laser, he has this crazy strong aggressive position no matter what. And so it's like, there might not be quite as many laser options, but there's still really good ones. And like, the stage is tiny, so it's not like you're being trapped really deep in the corner. Like, Stadium being like 
off to it, the off the side plat in the corner lasering is like awful because like there's no top platform it's just really hard to get back to center but here it has like a low top plat and it's really tiny it's really easy to get back to center from the corner so it's not quite as bad like shooting that cornered laser I, i've been meaning to ask you about that i don't know is is Pokemon just generally like not that great for Falco like whenever I play it I, I feel like I struggle on that stage and I can't put words to why but I feel like I mm. always get like destroyed on Pokemon versus Marth versus like I think Fox is more like the matchup where it's really bad mm. but like I don't know um I don't think it's a bad stage for Falco at all um I think like, Falco, like, he does well in the little stages against Marth because he can approach with the laser quickly. But then in, like, matchups where, like, the laser approach is not as big of a deal, like Fox, then, like, the bigger stage a lot of times, I think, favors Falco more because you don't get, like, you know, you don't get, like, Shine Gimped as much on Stadium. So, like, I think Stadium is, like, pretty fine. I think the, the biggest difference is that, first of all, there's no top platform. So, like, you don't get a lot of, like, stalemates that you would on, like, a triplat stage. And then, most importantly, the corner is just a lot more difficult to play out of because you don't have a free dash full hop to top plat. But in a lot of ways, you know, that's true against Fox, too. Like, Fox doesn't have a way to really get out of the corner super cleanly. It's like, yeah, he has ledge dash, but you have ledge dash also, you know? And so it's like, it's not that Falco does bad there as much as like, there are specific, like the corner pressure is stronger against every character there. And you like, as every character against every character. And so you just need to get to be extra careful about how you play out of the corner on that stage. But I feel like otherwise, like the spacing of the stage and stuff like that is not bad for Falco. Especially the low side platforms, because they're like, uh... They're, like, reaction tech chaseable, like, with Shine. Yeah, yeah. And that, you know, it's kind of a big deal just in the sense that, like, no, you can literally cover every single tech option every time, and that's that's a pretty significant thing. Like, from, uh, do you mean, like, from full hop Shine, or, like, yeah. from when you're already on the platform? No, like, from the ground. Yeah. But, I mean, the tech chase on the side, on the platforms is plenty good anyway, but I'm pretty sure you can do that on most of the side, most, like, platforms in the game. Yeah. Yeah. But being able to do it from below is kind of huge. And, like, you can short hop fair above the platform really easily because of how low it is, and, like, short hop up air because of how low it is and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't think it's bad for Falco, but I do get, like, why you might think that. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely rocked. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, it's because you're not shooting a single laser. Okay, you shot like one. I'm just going to go to the next game. Yeah, you were, yeah, you were definitely cool. right that's, about the whole like fountain, like fountain It is by thing. far, yeah. I avoid that stage for the most part, at least in tournament right now. Because mm -hmm. I just get, I get dis disproportionately destroyed on it. Okay. Uh, this is fine. I, 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 I really don't like the, this high laser that much. Because um, the thing is, a lot of Mars start off the game with this dash, like dash empty hop here, and they like to come in with the fair, the nair here. But like, if you really think about it, like you would kind of prefer that. Like if, you, like if you're good enough that you're not going to get hit by their falling aerial here, it's really not that bad to just get like a laser into an up tilt or something like that and take get them, get a little damage. Uh, whereas, like, if you do this laser, it's like, yeah, and they short, if they empty short hop here, it cancels their short hop, which is, like, kind of good. The, oh, like, you stop their plan from happening. But if they go low, then you're just, you just put yourself in, like, this position where you def, you definitely could have just gotten, like, hit out of this, right? Like, right there. Um. I, I've been liking lately just, like, dropping with a laser yep like that's like, all you like have to literally do. just dropping from the platform with the laser it just feels a lot safer yep i don't know the the like you're the point of the opening is not to get an advantage is to avoid disadvantage so like this this having 
like possible lose states is a reason to not do it. Okay, I want to look at this. I don't. I feel like I don't understand this jump in aerial. Um. I think it's just bad habits. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you you never want to do a thing like against Marth where you just sort of laser dash back jump in attack. Uh, you don't really want to do that versus any character, uh, but you super don't want to do it against Marth, and the reason why people do it a lot, I think, is because Mango does it a lot, but Mango does it a lot against Zane, specifically, and it's because he knows kind of what Zane is going to do, so it's, it's, it's just not as good as the feeling of, like, laser, oh, mix-up, no, it's like, Marth's here, Oh, you can get more lasers. You can get full hop to the top plat, side plat. Marth really sucks at uh, like pressuring the side platform. He's really bad at that from like next to it. Because what's he gonna do? Short hop nair, short hop fair. You can just like avoid those and then like shield drop down air and hit him. So you have a lot of good defensive positions here, and you want the approaching laser, but you never want approaching laser to like you the goal of the approaching laser or at least the threat of it is to try to push him into the corner and to the ledge because then you get you know all of your good corner pressure on marth uh a lot of times people do this like laser and the approaching laser out of the corner or just like big approach out of the corner in general and it's it's like if you're the Marth, you want a Falco who's anxious to jump out of the corner at you and throw stuff out. That's like what yeah. you're looking for. So what you don't want is that you're like, okay, I got a slight advantage, but the Falco's lasering. I can't really get in. Oh, there's another laser. Maybe they're getting a little closer. And then the, the Marth is like, hmm, okay, now they're too close. So you have a little bit of pressure. You dash dance. They move backwards. You get a laser. And now you're in center. And you lasered them, and they're in the corner. And then, you you know, now you have, like, an advantage state. So that's a lot more yeah. how you want to play than, like, okay, I'm just going to, like, dive out of the corner. Because a lot of times those sort of, like, hard, hard mix-up things where you're just, like, laser, dash back, dash in, aerial, or whatever... They'll actually work like an okay amount of the time. And they'll give you a bunch of false positives that you're playing the matchup well. But the truth is that, like, you don't... You're not... When you do those and you hit Marth, you're not really winning anything. You're just gambling. Like, it's not a win because you didn't bait something and then, like, respond by beating some form of, like, overcommitment from Marth. It's just, like... You are in raw neutral with Marth, and you decided to do a timing mix-up and full approaching aerial. And when you win, you don't have, like, this aha moment of, like, aha, like, I super tricked him and stuff. It's more of just, like, I hope this hits, and then it hits, and you're like, yes, it hit, you know? And that's yeah, not, that, right. and that's not yeah. good training, and it's not going to help you get better, even if, you know, you go even with a Marth player that you think is better than you or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's why you yep. side B. Yep. I, I, on this stage, it's a little awkward because of the slope anyway, though. So it's just kinda, you just kind of die here sometimes. I, I definitely think um, the, the biggest thing that I can see is... Yep, you're doing it again. Yep. You're not, yep. At, you're not actually, like, trying to outplay Marth. Uh, and this is a really common problem in this matchup. And it's because what happens is Marth has a lot of, like, things that you need to know the correct... It's kind of like the Fox matchup, where the Marth has a lot of things where they can just sort of throw it out, and then you need to know the right response. And if you don't, you get hit. So what happens to a lot of Falco players is that they, they, tr they try playing this matchup, you know, safe or with a lot of lasers or whatever, but then, like when they shoot a more than one laser, um, they just sort of get hit out of it by the Marth. And then they get this mentality that, like, I need to just jump in and hit him before he hits me. And what happens is you end up not really, like, winning any situations. Because you're not... 
Like you're not trying to punish Marth whiffing a whiffing an up tilt, whiffing a grab, over committing to a jump, um, landing lag from fair, out of a roll. Like all of these are like actual vulnerabilities for Marth. Like you want to hit Marth during his lag, or he jumps and nares, and you hit like laser short hop fair or short hop nair. Like those. You want moves that are actual, real openings. You don't want, like, okay, here we go, laser, dash back, dash in, laser. And it's like, no, there was no, you weren't even looking at the Marth here. Like this. So, I, hmm, what's the best way to help you out with? There's a couple options that I think you can implement that would help. Um, the first thing that I would like you to do is to try to play this matchup very defensively. And I know that you'll get hit, at least in practice. Uh, I know you'll get hit a lot, and you'll get gimped a lot, and a lot. you'll lose to a lot of people worse than you for a time but like you need to be comfortable with what hitboxes Marth actually has cuz you're not playing around his hitboxes you're playing around the fact that he could just be anywhere at once with hitboxes out and so you better just make a decision quickly and once this is another thing that also is not like a you problem this is like the level you're at in the matchup problem because I 100% went through this exact phase against Marth. Uh, so it's like there are a couple options. So there's laser dash back, um, retreating laser, approaching laser, and laser crouch. Those are the three options that I kind of would like you to use a lot more. Laser full hop's also not bad when there's platforms. But basically, let me let me just go into Dolphin really quick, because this is okay. Oh, I should have done Uncle Punch. I forgot. Okay. Okay. So. Basically, you have a few options. So check this out. So if I do this, what do you think Marth can hit me? Let me actually, let me waste one laser so it's not stale, or so it is stale. And then, okay, let's just do save. What do you think Marth can hit me with out of that? I think all he can do is chase you. Yeah. I can't hit you with literally anything. Let's get a little closer. How about this? You think he can get me here? Oh, this is... Yeah, this is fair. <laughs> this is fair jab. Grab. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> How does that... Wait, what? <laughs> I swear I get hit with stuff that close. That's crazy. He literally can't hit you at all. There's nothing he can do. Like, that'll, that'll get you out of this. <laughs> The only thing he can kind of do is like that, is like read the fact that you're going to stop dashing after a certain point. But he can't instant dash attack, he can't fair, he can't nair. Like, I, this, is, this is what I'm saying where you're not really playing around his moves, you're playing around like the perception that his hitboxes could theoretically be like anywhere. So, let's do one more. Let's do this. I'm pretty sure he can get me out of this. But with what is the question? I want to say dash attack, but I don't know. Really? <laughs> I know if he's in the, but I I can I know if he's in the air though. He can definitely ferry you. <laughs> I know that. That's it though. <laughs> from from this distance? I know he could. I know if he was in the air, he could probably ferry you. But that's it. Okay. I don't know what from the ground. I don't know what he does. Okay, so. Um, CPU <laughs> options, jump, 
And then his counter option from the air is uh, fair. Oh my god. Look at how big this gap it is. is. So that's why you do that's why you do this. Because it just punishes it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the only problem is you go in too early, and that's why a lot of times this is not like a full punish unless you do like the instant one. And look, the instant one hits before the fair every time. I actually didn't even know that was possible to hit them with an instant arrow like I yeah. always thought that was just the Marth messing up. <laughs> nope, you can get him. The only problem is when you're at this distance, because you have to dash too far. And then it, it's only when you hit the high laser that they have time to get you. Whereas if you shoot a low laser here, and you catch them as they're getting closer to the ground, then, like, you land sooner after your laser. And so, like, look, this, this is a freaking combo. Like, he can't, he can't fair me out of this at all. Ever. Even if he's frame perfect, as long as I am reasonably quick with my movement like pretty precise but like hey that's guaranteed right like he can't fair me that's a frame perfect fair and so it's like i can i can roll or sorry i can dash back i can hit him i can crouch like that which you know isn't great but in some some cases you're like here and you're like you did like this approaching laser and you're like ah and you just like take it like you know and get out of the way and so, so yeah I was gonna say, like, because you mentioned laser crouch as an option, mm -hmm. but if you actually crouch cancel something, what what options do you like? No, so you know what I mean. So like, this isn't yeah. this isn't a crouch that I would like to do. This is more of like an emergency crouch, um, like that type of thing. I wouldn't really do that. The laser crouch is more when you're like here, and the reason is uh, is that um, you want it's because of something like do they not have dash attack in here? they do not okay but basically the idea is that if you stand okay so basically it's like if I if I laser you from here then this is where the laser crouch is really good and the reason for that is so let's go to check this out so when I do this aha aha None of his stuff does anything to you. He can't actually get you with Nair because it doesn't... I, I, I stood up too soon. Uh, let me just do this again. Okay. But like, yeah, dash attack. Forward smash. Oops. Fair. Nair. And so the thing is, you're not going to get an opening off of this every time. It's not about that. It's the fact that Marth can't get you with anything. Like none of his moves, none of his moves like hurt you, and so you don't have to be afraid at this range. That's the point. Um, and yeah, it beats dash attack, which they love to do at this range, like that. And so I get a lot of I get a lot of stuff. And a lot of times, if you shoot the laser, you'll, you'll crouch under the power shield because of it. Um, <laughs> but then even if like let's say the laser's a little bit lower, and uh, yeah. Let's see the laser a little bit lower, and I do uh, like that, right? And then um, send Marth Power Shield to back. It hits me while I'm crouching, so I have way less stun. And so what Marth will do is he'll do like he'll do like like that, right? Or like he'll go like that, or like this, or that or whatever right but the thing is is like look how positive i am after this like look i'll do like uh because they like to do like they just dash back thing is it too low for mark to do it <laughs> okay yeah. like that it's like okay so like we're just gonna look at a uh, look at this so he power shields it but look when it hits me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Obviously, I'm not doing the fastest wave dash out of power shield of all time, but it's like reasonable, you know. I'm top player, and like, look, you're already actionable here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, 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 blah. So all you have to do here is you do this, where you do, um, like this. Let me turn off this, and you go, oh, like that. And then what Marth will do... Oh, I wasn't recording. 
that, and then um, the mark will do something like, like that. And because you can get hit with the crouching laser, you can just get to them before they're even actionable out of their wave dash every time. Like, I can't, unless I do it perfectly, I'm not going to be able to get, like, the shield out. And that that is, like, a pretty rare case that Marth is going to do power shield, wave dash, and shield. Like, he's not going to be doing that. He wants to no, get yeah, you. They're always, yeah, they're always going for, like... So a, this is, like, a way to just... Yeah. You kind of just have a big frame advantage here. And then, um, obviously, you have the laser dash back. And so here's another thing with the laser. So let's just kind of lead the laser crouch. That's kind of how the laser crouch works. And I showed you why the laser dash back is so good, right? Um, the other option that's super duper broken against Marth and neutral is this one. Like, laser approach... You do laser, retreating laser, approaching laser, or just this one. Retreating laser, approaching laser is broken. So here's the reason for retreating laser, or at least just laser approaching laser. So... Do you know how much faster laser approaching laser hits than like regular one laser or no? Like does that does that instantly like light up something or should I just explain it really quick? Yeah, yeah, because you're shooting it from it's because you're literally shooting and then like before the other one is even hit, you're shooting one. Exactly. From the so yeah, you yeah. so you have something like this where you have forward smash, where if I do this, I can't double laser in place Marth without getting forward smashed. But I can laser approaching laser mark without getting forward smashed. And it's because the lasers hit quicker in succession. So laser approaching laser gives you significantly better frame data against Marth than like these two lasers do. Because I'll just get hit out of it. Whereas this one is like, yeah, he can't even get it out. And if you do this one, yeah, there's more space between the lasers, but you're also just like safe, you know? And then, like, check it out. So if I do something like this, where I do... I'm here, and I go... Like that. I can't, like, get you. And a lot of times he ends up getting, like, something like this, where... Oops, let's see. Uh, the laser's too low. But basically, like, he can get a thing where he ends up getting, like... He immediately jumps and then gets like caught in it and then you can get like you can get something like a bat or something like that so you'd end up getting like or something like that basically where like he he ends up jumping into this yeah like that where he jumps to try to get you and then he gets caught with that so, like, there's there's a lot of ways that this, like, laser retreating laser is good, and there's a lot of ways that laser approaching laser is good. And you can kind of use these to, like, manipulate space around Marth, because you're like, if you do this, that's just, like, a safe sequence. <laughs> like, what was he supposed to do to punish this? Nothing. And what was he supposed to do to punish this? He can kind of do stuff to punish that. Kind of, but they hit so quick in succession that, like, dude, this is me trying to, like, instant fare. I can't, like, I literally, like, can't get my aerials out at all because it's too fast. So, this is basically super safe, and this is basically super safe, and this is super safe, and this is super safe, and this is obviously super safe if there's platforms. So, it's like, you have this combination of, like, completely safe lasers that you can use to both damage Marth and manipulate stage space. And so, when you know that these moves are completely safe, then it's so much easier to look at Marth and really think about his spacing and what he's doing, and if you can bait him because you're not constantly like, ah, here comes the random nair that's gonna end my life for no reason. So you don't have to end up doing as many of these like gamble situations because you're just like comfortable getting the lasers out. And yeah, it's still not easy, but it's like, it's, it's winning, you know? <laughs> like if, if you play without the lasers, it's hard and you lose. And when you play with the lasers, it's hard, but if you do it right, you win. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, what are you going for? So, like, 
we have so we have laser retreating laser, and we also have laser approaching laser. Mm -hmm. um, are we trying to you do sequences? Like we can't. I mean, we can't just do sequences of like that just over and over and over, right? Like laser retreating laser, approaching laser, retreating laser. <laughs> like... Yeah, we can. <laughs> why? <laughs> why can you not do that? <laughs> I just showed you how he can't yeah. do anything about it. <laughs> like, it's 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 like saying, like, okay, so you taught me how to dash dance, but I can't just, like, dash dance all the time every stock, can I? And you're like, yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know how Fox dash dances? Falco doing safe lasers is how he plays neutral. So, like, this is Falco, like continuously doing these safe lasers is how you sort of play neutral and okay so i guess like i could have gotten more into exactly what you're looking for so i explained that like a lot of times from laser approaching laser you get the two lasers in succession quickly enough that you are able to like stuff out some move of his and a lot of times it'll give you an advantageous position whether that's like him being stuck in shield or him dashing back into the corner etc and that's why like from this position on this stage laser approaching laser is brutal because he has to move back just because of the threat of laser down air or laser nair and so he has to move back and then he gets lasered and now he's like deep deep in the corner and he has like a shield up and you're like in super center stage and stuff like that that's kind of like what you want to do. Like the lasers are leading you to advantageous positions. Whether that's like, like you know how I was showing you like the fair thing, right? Where like uh, Marth is gonna like spam the fair, and so you hit him with the laser, and you either are like, oh, I'm close enough to true combo him, or I'm not close enough, in which case I just bait the fair. So in some cases, maybe you're really confident on the exact timing or spacing of the fair they're gonna do. And in that case, great. Laser dash dance around it, down air the landing, and you, you get like a big combo. And it's honestly kind of the same way with like the Nair, um, where like, okay, so when you do the laser retreating laser, that actually like opens up this big space in front of you like you're kind of giving up a lot of space, right? By, yeah, by that's, retreating that's what I was going to ask about. Yeah. So you're kind of yeah. The the issue in this matchup a lot of times is that you get stuck in place, and Marth is the one moving, and that lets him do this thing where you're stuck in place, and he just dash dancing, and he eventually throws out a nair, and he gets to space it exactly how he wants. Um, actually, let me just bring this up again definitely better to go over it okay um so when so when i do this where i do like laser and then i do this one right like say i do laser into this which is like a common thing uh oops oops whatever um why is he like it, i'm just gonna exit <laughs> Okay. Here, shoot one laser, save the state, record. Okay. So you'll get like like that or something like that, right? And then um, a lot of times what happens is Marth will go like like that, right? I'm sure this has happened to you 10 million times. Yep, that's it. It hits you out of this, right? And so when you think about it, what Marth is doing is he is reading the fact that you are approaching into this range with the Nair. And the Nair is really like the first hit of Nair is like right here. It's not like way over here. The first hit of Nair is reasonably close to like right where Marth is. Like he, you need to basically approach right onto him. Like if he Nairs right here in place, like it's not gonna hit your approach. You know, he needs to like jump in to read your approach and then he gets this. And so the advantage of the retreating laser approaching laser is I'm creating space to approach into. Because if I'm like, if I'm here, this is a completely safe approach. Like from here, if I, if I do this, this is completely safe because um, like, what's he gonna do? Like he can't, 
you know, he can't, like, get in because it's, like, too far away in front of him. It's too far away in front of him for he for him to, like, punish or do anything. And so what I'm doing with this laser is I'm creating this space to approach into. and Rather than approaching right onto him where his nair hits. So a lot of times I get stuff like this where I get this, 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 or, like, sorry, this, this, this. And then I get this, 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 and then I do this motion. So I'll do this, 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 and then I do this. After this big dash in. Or sometimes I'll even go like, like that. And what it'll do is you get this situation where you go like that. And then what happens to the Marth is they go, okay, here, um, here, ugh. Oh, and then you hit him. Like you, if you look from the Marth end, you can see it where it's like, Oh, he's coming back in, but I'm not, and then I hit him. So, like, watch it again. It's like, Martha's dash dancing, I'm creating the space, and then I close the space. And the funny thing is, even just playing this out from the Martha end right now, I can literally feel like, oh, yeah, I would lose this neutral interaction. Like, I would swing here. Because then I close the space again, and these are all safe this whole time. And then I create the space again, and then I'm going to close it again. And Martha's like, no, you don't get to just keep approaching into me. Like, laser approaching laser is strong, and it gives Falco big pressure on Marth. So he doesn't want to allow laser approaching laser. So he wants to dash in extra far here, because, you know, you're not approaching onto him. You're approaching here. So he wants to dash here, and then nair in this range to catch the approaching laser, which you've been doing over and over. So a lot of times you get this where he's like, ah, oh, here's the approaching laser that I'm catching. And he just does this nair, and then you just literally get to, like, whiff punish it. And this this happens to me. I would say this is probably my most common situation in the matchup. Like, out of any other situation in the matchup. It's create space, delete space, create space, delete space, check, Marth swings, hit him. And so that is, like, one of the main things you're looking for. And then sometimes you can do stuff like this, where you go, like, um... Where you do this, 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 and then you just crouch. See, so like, this, 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 or something like that. And what it does is, from the Marathon, it creates, like, a, oh, they're coming back, oh, oh. You see how there's this weird thing where, like, I'm, as the Marth, I'm expecting Falco to, like, get to like create the space safely again but when he doesn't he gets in this really close like oh he's right here and then i'm like what do i do and so a lot of times they go like this and they dash they just dash dance for a second and then you get the hit on them are those things making sense yeah okay yeah. these are just really common situations that i play through that like allow you to actually play neutral against Mark, like maintaining yeah. the neutral against Mark. Because if you don't have them, you end up playing like this, where it's a lot of like very like high risk gambles because you're not completely sure like where the hitboxes are. Or what avoids them even, you know? Yeah, it definitely does feel like uh in the like the rare games that I win it's just like it doesn't feel like I did anything different or like well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just kinda won. Yeah, no, I, I, and I totally remember feeling exactly like that, and it's just from, like, the gambles, and it's just from doing yeah. the gambles rather than, oh, okay, look, so this was, you almost did this thing, and it almost worked, uh, just, like, the thing we talked about, so you get this laser, bam, and then you do this dash bag dash in laser, the, the only issue here, you did everything perfectly, is that this laser is too low, Approaching lasers need to be middle height or higher, just so that Marth can't jump over them like this. Because if you let him short hop over them, you just need to basically make it this height or higher. Like, literally this height or higher. Like, his boot. So that, like... Really? Yeah. Um, so that he I'm can't... I'm always so, uh... I'm so, uh... What's it called? I'm so paranoid about shooting, like, mid or high lasers against Marth, because they always want a power shield, and I have a hard, a really hard time, like, jumping over them when it's like mid height or higher. Mm. Are you jumping? And there's a lot of Marths uh, I play against that just spam power shield. Okay. And they'll do, they'll literally like full screen like power shield and then just try to run in and hope that you don't act out of the laser. <laughs> well, full screen, you don't need high lasers. Yeah. It's just when you approach, you generally want high lasers. And um, uh, if you do a high laser and they power shield it, 
it'll go over your landing animation and you get a free punish. Yeah. And then when you're jumping over the low lasers, are you lasering every time? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Okay, because when Falco does the laser, he dodges lasers. Like, when he's doing yeah. his laser animation. And if you yeah, do, yeah, like, yeah. down air and air or something, a lot of times you'll get stuck. I don't really know what to tell you if you're not able to do laser approaching jump over laser. Like, you should be able to get it on most like reasonably low heights with consistency mm -hmm. and you only really need to shoot these higher ones when you're going to be going in on marth okay yeah, yeah, yeah you can shoot higher ones more like in a lot of other cases but it's kind of getting like nitty-gritty yeah okay mm-hmm uh, this is like a small detail, but I never do the dash in grab here immediately if they're in the air. Uh, if, yeah. they're, if they're in the air, I always just do this little dash dance into like another laser to keep them grounded, and then I'll go in for like the grab. What are your thoughts? I don't want you to leave this lesson in a few minutes and be like, well, he talked about a lot of stuff, but I'm still kind of confused. So I want, I want your thoughts on this and, like, how you feel like this is all plugging in. Well, everything you said, is like, made sense. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's just a hard matchup. I think I just need to play more. It is definitely... I feel like I just need to grind it, it more. It is definitely a hard matchup. Um, so what I want you to do is those patterns that I showed you, like laser retreating laser, laser dash back, um... Obviously, the like laser approaching laser with the with the approaching laser being like rather high. Um, if you if you play against Marth and you like just do those in neutral, that's where you're gonna get the good experiences. Cause like it's it's like less about taking what you have and then like adding those in, and excuse me, and more so that those should basically be the basis that like. You just need to do each of those patterns like a hundred times or like obviously more than a hundred times and see what happens out of it and like get good at playing those situations. Um, because that is where like you want to focus your experience in the matchup. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And you don't want to play gamble, gamble, super gamble bros. You just don't. Like... I would rather you get four stocked by a Marth than literally just be gam like every opening you've gotten has been a gamble. It's like none of them have been like, oh, I baited Marth into doing something. Okay, wait, there we go. An opening that wasn't a gamble. It's because he upbeat. But like even this Nair, it's like <laughs> this laser Nair is very much just like laser, and then you know what am I gonna do here? You know, and so what I try to do is I try to break it up into three options, which is Marth stays in place and throws something out, Marth tries to reach out and get me, or Marth retreats into the corner. And that's kind of all he has access to, and so a lot of times I try to choose options that bait out one thing while being safe to the other two, or at least mostly safe to the other two so like at this range like laser dash in dash back is pretty good because it's like if so after this laser approaching aerial or approaching laser is fairly good even though it's a gamble so he ha he wants to have a hundred percent win rate so he doesn't want to lose to your gambles. So he's usually going to dash back here. And if you get the little dash dance and he dashes back, then maybe you can get, like, another laser from center to lock him in the corner. And now you're at, like, a big advantage. And if you do laser dash in, dash back, and he does an aerial in place, then, like, a lot of times uh, you'll just dodge it and be able to, like, oh, if he nares in place, I can either punish with, like, another laser or a grab or a late aerial. And then if he presses in, which, like, if you do laser dash in, dash back, there is a chance that he could just, like, uh, take laser forward smash or whatever, you know? Like, there's always the chance of Marth just, like, hulking out and doing, like, a bunch of really dumb stuff. 
And a lot of Marths play like that. And so what you can do is then just optimize it to be like with the uh with the retreating laser dash dance thing. Like I just I destroy Marths now who are like really like throw out a bunch of approaching nares type Marth. Because you just laser crouch and you laser uh dash back and you laser retreating laser and none of their moves hit you, and then a lot of times those Marths will become light take laser dash attack Marth or take laser or sorry, power shield wave dash in Marth, and it's like once you know to do like laser crouch against a lot of a lot of times laser full hop can still beat the dash attack, but laser crouch is like the best option against the dash attack. So it's like you learn to laser crouch, watch for the dash attack for a second, then maybe dash back and reset the lasers. So what you want your play to be is you want your play to be a bunch of like safe-ish, like mostly safe things where you hit Marth really hard if he does the one thing you're expecting. Like, if he does the approaching nair, or if he does the the thing. And you you don't need to punish them every time. And so that's kind of... It's similar to how you would play the Fox matchup, where you're kind of, like, creating opportunities for them to do the thing you expected that gets them hit. And then if they do something different, you're mostly safe. So, like, going back to this example, like, if you laser Marth and he just lets the forward smash rip here... He could technically kill you for this, but as long as, like, the majority of the time when he throws out these dumb forward smashes that you are not getting hit by it, and you punish them, and you, like, get a lot out of it, he's not going to want to do it. Um, it's kind of the way I like to describe it with, like, runoff fair. A lot of Mars, their whole game plan is just runoff fair. You know, they love it. Yeah, I I literally played against the Marth at nightclub last week. That would He would literally dash dance on the platforms and mm -hmm. run off air. And then when he wasn't on a platform, he would just sit there and crouch. Uh -huh. And that was, like, the entire game plan. Yeah, some <laughs> of them do absurd. that. And it was really hard to deal with. Like, yeah. I, I actually got, like, double three-stocked. It was So, ridiculous. the truth is, <laughs> is that it's very difficult for Falco to punish Marth runoff platform fair. But it's really easy to stay 100% safe from it by just staying out of the range. And so what you can do is you do a thing where every time Marth is going to run off fair, you set up for the perfect laser combo. And then when he does the fair, a lot of times you don't get the perfect setup. So you're just like, whatever, that's fine. And you leave. And then you'll get, he'll do it like five times, and every time he does it, you just get one laser of damage, and then nothing happens, and neutral resumes. And then like the sixth time he does the fair, you have happened to be in the perfect laser position, and you just combo him out. Like, he runs off in fairs, and you hit high laser up tilt, or something like that, and then you get a big combo on him. And so, like, I'll, uh, huh? I feel like I remember you mentioning this, but you, like, compared it to, like, the Ratatouille uh, reviewer guy, where he's just super, super, you're just, like, super specific about what openings you actually take. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, where I said, like, if I don't love yeah. it, I don't swallow, that type of thing. Yeah. yeah. No, literally, is like, you're playing against, like, basically Jigglypuff with a sword, you know, where he can just insta-kill you off of anything... And so you really only want to take the situations that you really like. And Falco has the ability to, like, if he doesn't like the situation, he can just leave. And a lot of times he can, like, he, Falco can, 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 like, choose to not interact. Like, you're, like, you see them running off to fair, and you're, like, I'm not even going to try to deal with this one. But when you shoot the laser and you dash dance, they have to consider the possibility that you might be trying to punish it. And so you get a lot of... So instead of their fair becoming, I never get punished for this fair, and eventually they run in and hit me, it's every time I run off fair, I take one laser of damage. I never hit them with it, and one out of every seven times, they hit me. And suddenly, run off fair goes from this super broken execution test, what can Falco possibly do option, to literally, like, Falco wins this interaction, or goes even with it every time. 
And that is a lot of what you want against Mark, where you're like, you're they're allowed to throw out dumb gambles and forward smashes and all that, and they will hit sometimes. But if you're playing the non gambly neutral and you're playing the safe, correct neutral, then like they will whiff and you will get to punish them way more often than their gambles will hit. Uh, okay. Okay, we're almost at an hour, but I, I'm still getting a little bit of uncertainty from you. I'm kind of, like, just in your voice, I'm kind of curious what you're thinking. I don't know. I feel, I really do feel like I need to experiment more with this matchup. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I'm, I'm kind of taking this in, and then I'm like, okay, I kind of want to mess with it. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, grind out yeah. the patterns that I showed you, and just literally see what happens. You'll be astounded by the number of Mars that either nair into the gap from retreating laser, like retreating laser dash dance, they just nair right into that gap and you get a free punish, or the Mars that just, or just not even the specific Mars, but the number of times when you laser dash back or laser crouch that they just kind of lose the ability to do anything. They're like, oh, I thought I was going to get a chance to interact. And you're like, nope, not really. Or you, you know, laser crouch, and you see them just kind of mentally freeze up. Marth doesn't really want to dash grab Falco a lot because of, you know, down air in place and stuff like that. And just, like, shine and all that kind of stuff. He wants to try to space you out. So when you get, when you end up spacing him out, and then you're getting kind of laser damage and laser pressure the whole time, it does just a really good job of, like, kind of turning the tables on, like, the mashup itself. And I'm sorry we didn't get to go. We didn't get really get a chance to go no, over the, ed, the edge guard in detail. But this is more important. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, uh, True. I definitely, <laughs> You're right. Uh, um, so there's definitely like I, I can definitely say in this matchup like I do not hit hard enough. But mm -hmm. like if I'm I, I need to like it's same thing as like the fox matchup where I have to actually like get clean openings mm -hmm. before I can like properly hit them in the first place. Right. So, and the more yeah. often you're getting, the more often you're getting openings through like setups, like oh they nared into the gap, so I got the down air. The more like you're gonna be able to optimize off of those combos rather than like I literally randomly up tilted Marth out of nowhere. How do I combo? You know. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Because it's like it's like um it's gonna be really hard to to get a combo out of like a scramble where you literally didn't know that your attack was gonna hit mm-hmm exactly and, yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah just i think this is good grind those patterns let me know what happens if you have any clips or questions feel free to send them and uh let me know how it goes i will all right have a good one dude all right i'll you talk too, man. I'll, I'll talk to you later hell Bye. yeah